Hi everybody, uh, Jonathan here. Uh, today on the channel we have uh Zui. Okay, Zui basically uh, did coaching with me last time. Okay, but I'm not gonna claim any of his success because the people who are successful like they do the work. They know what it takes, right? So let me just tell you something about Zui. Zui is uh from Myanmar. He generated over five hundred k in six months, and this is USD as well. Okay, he runs a uh, uh print print on demand store as well as a jet uh. Uh, e-commerce store as well and he sells to the Miami's market uh, has one store doing uh, the Burmese market and then the other one uh, selling worldwide as well okay so I mean if you think about it right despite uh, military censorship um, the, the, the what's happening situation in, in Myanmar as well like this is some guy who is like he put in the work he got the result and that's why he's successful right despite like how much how many odds right so you as uh, someone watching right now uh, I don't see how you have like any excuse not to be successful just like him Okay, so that's basically a uh, brief about Zui. Okay, right now, let me just shut up. Okay, let, 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 let me uh, uh, let Zui introduce himself and then, yeah. Okay, go ahead, Zui. Thanks so much, bro. Thanks so much. Yeah, like, uh, I I met you like last year, right? Last year around April or May. Uh, we have like two yeah. sessions for like two hours. That's correct. At the time, I didn't know anything about this e thing. You know, I came to you then I was asking, bro, like, how, do you know how... how how should I run ads? <laughs> I remember we were having like a funny conversation, you know, you were asking, oh, bro, you know this, you know that? I'm like, oh, bro, I don't know anything. <laughs> I remember you were saying, oh, bro, you know WooCommerce? Bro, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> From there, yeah, like, yeah. I, like after meeting you for like one or two months, I built uh, like an uh, online store here. And yeah. Then after that, like after six months, I make around like 400, 500 K. Yeah. So, uh, but one thing about the unique about Myanmar, right, is that people here, the way how they buy is very different. Okay. So usually let's say in other country, like you run ads, you like you create a Facebook page, you run ads, then you buy on their website. Okay. So Myanmar people, you don't know how most of the people they don't know how to buy on their website okay let's say if you you have an ad and let's let's say if click if you click it and if you uh if bring them to the website they will just cancel it like they will just close it okay so okay so because of that the way they order stuff is that they will come to your page then they will message you they were like oh, okay my name is this and that then uh can you uh can you like, <clears throat> uh, you know, I want this. Can you send it to me? Then, then what happened is that they they will never transfer the money in advance, and you have to do it on cash on delivery. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, a little bit high risk. Sometimes, let's say if they, we go and deliver it, they won't take it. They're like, oh, I don't know, I didn't order it. You know, they will just cancel the order to you. Then you have to bring back the order, then repackage it, and do a lot of things. But it's more complicated than other countries but one good thing is that okay then you'll be asking yourself right if it's very complicated why are you still doing right so the thing is that the although it's very complicated the ROAS is crazily good like okay. cr crazily good some so like average for, like for the for like uh, six months my average ROAS is around eight seven to eight average mm. but some product is it can go up to like maybe 15 or 20 so so yeah that, that is the reason why i like keep continue doing yeah so do you have any question yeah sure so like for for your case like um you know that the rest is good and stuff right what mm. what's stopping you from like getting to the next like one two mil uh right because like if it's super profitable like why aren't you just jacking up ad spend and just like scale or is it do you have a fulfillment problem what's the issue yeah uh, so one problem is that um, okay. So first, like in the beginning, start, uh, in the beginning, one of the problem is that I'm having the cash flow problem. You know, okay. like because okay, because of we doing cash on delivery. Okay, cash on delivery. We sometimes we have to wait around two weeks to a month to get back the money. So I can steal as much as I want. That's the one thing, mm -hmm. and because of uh, another thing is that because of I have I have to like collect the order manually. So you know I have eight people working from nine to eleven just to collect the orders. 
So sometimes, but if I scale too much, they, they can't keep up with the message because there's too many messages coming in. They have okay. sometimes 500, 600 messages coming in. Right now. So that, that is a problem that I can't scale. And mainly it's because of the cash flow problem. Yeah. Okay. Understood. So if uh, not normal e-com is like you run campaign straight to conversion, right? Uh, I'm guessing you run to messenger and then uh, is there a messenger bot or is it fully manual? Someone is coming in? Fully manual, fully manual. Because okay. it, because pe- people here, they, they're not familiar with using a messenger bot. So yep. like they, they would just start clicking and playing around <laughs> there and they still yeah. buy it. So I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, tried using a messenger bot. Like it doesn't it didn't work. So we do manually. And another thing is that most of my like 20%, 15 to 20% of my sales come from the on phone. So mm. and then we collect the orders from phone as well. So okay, how how does how does Messenger go from phone? So they uh okay, Zui, I'm interested in buying XXX. Uh, then what? They, you give them an option to call, is it or? Uh no no no. So what I did was that in in my uh, my ads copy, I will write okay like to order like click message now message now as or maybe and and I left the phone number so that they can call them because most of around. Like people who are above 30 to 40, they just from like ordering, they like they just love to order from the phone. So we have to mm-hmm. order it. And what happened is that after that, my people will go to the Shopify, then they will key in the order manually. That's mm-hmm. what they usually do. Yeah. Okay. Understood. Is there uh what's it called? Because you said um I, I remember telling you specifically when we were coaching, right? I said if you can crack the Burmese market, because there's who else is more smart intelligence slash hardworking at this craft, right? Uh, you're going to kill it because nobody else knows how to do this shit, <laughs> right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I was like, uh, how is the competition in Burmese market now? And, you know, tell me more about that. But, okay, so there's, okay, from what I, as far as I know, right, there's no Burmese that who knows how to do in here, but, but there's a one Vietnamese company who knows how to do that. Okay. okay. So they, they have a general store. And they were just selling all the crappy stuff, bro. Like, like you, yeah. you know that they drop shipping crappy stuff. Like, yeah. like on the end, it looks amazing. But <laughs> when they come, <laughs> then they were selling without the warranty. They just scam people, bro. Keep scamming, scamming. So okay, bro, they, you won't believe it. Some of the items you can get for one or two dollars. They're selling around thirty to forty bucks here, bro. They just scamming people. So I was like. Just get sick of that guy, man. Then, mm. then what, what I did was that I started selling my store with 30, 30 days warranty, you know, like money money back. Then they just love it because in here, nobody has sold a product with, a, with that guarantee. Mm. So they, yeah, they, they, this is like what that guarantee is what makes my shop su- successful, I guess. Okay. Why, why are people, why are merchants so dishonest? <laughs> like to, you know what I mean to stay in business you gotta be um, you should be able to deliver the product right so why uh, how is this Vietnamese company still able to operate in the market if they are not it's more like the enforcement of the rules and regulation problem I guess like you know people just scam you man. nobody go and do anything to them you know like mm. actually the, the, gov- the government should be doing something to them like protecting the, the consumer yeah. that, that's the one problem you know like and people are like generally nice here. Like if they even get scammed, they won't say anything. You know? Yeah. They're like, oh, okay. I got scammed. Maybe next time I'll do it again. Mm. Yeah. That that that's a problem. That's why right. when I came in, they were like, they were so shocked. You know, they were like, what? They they were even commenting on my page. What you like? So I can take what I can <laughs> test the product. If I don't, I can give back. You sure? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. You can do that. I'll, I'll respond <laughs> you straight away. <laughs> like they were even wishing me good luck and all like you know oh man this is like the best store i've ever, ever seen yeah. so nice of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's what's happening Understood. Yeah. okay you're yeah, talking about like scaling ads right there was there's one problem here bro one problem here is, is that uh you know when you in a business manager but let's say if you scale you can see exactly what roles you're doing and everything yep. which ads are doing. Yep. You know, because of my running ads on message, I can't do that. Yes. So what I have to do is you won't believe this, okay? So every morning, my accountant, well, well, what she do is she will calculate every sale. 
every sales, every product sales with the yeah. rules. Then I have to see, I have to calculate the rules back manually just to check if whether it's doing well or not. <laughs> uh, that, that's the thing. That, well, okay, but that, that's how you get your seven to eight times, lah, basically. Yeah. More like, okay, some, some, some product is doing really well. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, exactly, exactly. Like, like some there's one product bro every time the rules it's more than 10 holds around 15 12 sometimes can be 20 mm. you know maybe i i crack the code i guess like what you say yeah it's it, okay if let's say if as easy as like what other countries like okay everyone will come in and do the same thing yes but because of i managed to crack you know the thing yeah that's what happened bro Understood. Understood. So right now your fulfillment uh products coming from China, I guess, right? Right. It's the uh, fastest way manufacturing coming from China. How does that uh how do you talk to your suppliers? How do you um you know think about <laughs> yeah? Okay, very good question. Okay, so okay, man, I may look like Chinese, man, but I'm not Chinese, bro. I don't speak Chinese at all. Okay, so so what happened is that I sometimes I go to the the you know 1688.com and I, I went there. <laughs> I use Google Translate to talk to everyone, bro. I yeah. like, it, it's a, a bit of hard work, man. You know, go there, Google Translate, talk to them. They, they, then I'll bring, like, talk to them on a WeChat. Uh, because of WeChat, uh, uh, WeChat has a translation, the, the, how do you call it? The function. Mm-hmm. Then we, they, they, they will talk to me in Chinese, then I'll talk to them in English. Uh, this is how I do business. And then I'll transfer money. There, there, there are some agent who can transfer money to them uh, then they will just transfer to them and i'll i'll uh i'll pay i pay near much yet and yep. they will send money to the all the supplier yeah. then after the supplier will send the money uh, the staff to the, the border mm-hmm. and from the border it will come to my city so it takes around sometimes two to three weeks to come here right here and after that uh, after that, it takes around maybe like another two weeks to sell off all the stuff. You know, sometimes three weeks, sometimes a month. Yeah, that's the thing. So okay. like, not only not only you have to do the like, ads, you have, you also have to know how to forecast the thing. And yeah. Do the forecasting. So that that's a one problem that I, I like. I have a lot of a lot of issue with because sometimes some of the item I overstock it. Then oh man, I, you know they. The stock looking at you every day, man. Hard <laughs> pain, man. It's like, <laughs> like yeah, oh, I can't man. move, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hard pain, yeah. Sometimes some of a month, I, I just have, doesn't have anything to sell, man. Then people will be like, so bored, like, hey, bro, what are you doing, man? Why didn't you order enough, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Understood. Why? Uh, what's it called? Yo, I'm sure there's a warehouse now, right? So are you ordering in bulk and then shipping over, or are you okay. still like one by one? How's the oh in bulk in bulk in bulk so so this is how how it goes so I'll just go to one six eight eight then I'll look for the like like products then let's say if there's a product that I like I'll I'll just give it to my designer and copywriter yeah they will test it out for like three days mm. after test it out I'll see the result okay let's say if good uh, uh the reverse is good then there's a lot of orders then I'll buy them in bulk I'll try to forecast it okay then I'll try yeah. in bulk then. Yeah, this, this is what I have to do. Understood. Understood. So are the shipping lines like established? Like how long does that take? Not oh, no, 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 no. We, we didn't use a shipping bro. We use we use a land freight. Correct. L- land freight. I mean, it still takes time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So how how long does that take normally for? From uh, factory to customer? Uh, oh. Uh, around. Could be from four weeks to six weeks, bro. So like. Once I know that, so if let's say it is a new product, I will just test it out that I won't scale it. But once it's here, I will start at the scale. I only scale it when the product is here. You know, you know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. So like for the first a few a few weeks, like when the product is not around it, I'll just, you know, like running at a little bit slower, like mm. not a little bit slower, not like with a smaller budget. Yeah. Smaller budget. Then after wait, wait. Once the product is here, after I test out, then I'll start scaling. Yeah, that's what we do. Understood. Understood. So actually, it's like uh, when you, in a sense, drop ship first, lah, right? Mm-hmm. Four to six weeks, <laughs> and yeah. then and then once you come in warehouse, then I'm guessing a few days, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. For uh, country like Myanmar, right? If you're saying you're, you're telling me it's like if you are like number one or number two now, 
and middle class is rising, right? Middle class wealth is rising and stuff like that. Yeah. There are 54 million people. Yeah. So <laughs> what's, what, what's next for, for this, uh, your business and how do you plan to uh, grow this? Yeah, I was planning to like scale it like to the moon, like before, before that uh, military takeover. The, the... Sorry, say again, your audio. Uh, I mean, uh, I was trying, trying to scale, scale my shop like to the moon before the military take uh, took over. But okay. now things are a little bit different. Like we didn't ex- expect this to yeah. happen, you know. So and another thing is that we didn't expect they would ban Facebook and Instagram. That is mm-hmm. one of our main issues. And they banned the, all the mobile mobile data. So like because most of my customers they they don't they don't have Wi-Fi. They use only only mobile data to order from us. So uh if you are asking me what's my plan in the short term mm. i have i still have a, around like 100k 100k inventory inventory so i'm trying to clear it off right now so maybe it, it will take around one or two months mm. then after that ah, bro we have to see how it goes man. <laughs> you know but i can't scale too much but what i can do is i can do it in a very small scale you know but it, it will take uh how do you call it uh, I'll be all right, but the sales won't be like as much as last time. But I'm yeah. still all right. you know, still making around uh, maybe four to five k a day. Mm. Mm. Understood. Okay. So if uh, what's the call? If Facebook and Google, I uh, sorry, Facebook and Instagram are banned, right? Yeah. I understand most of the traffic is coming from mobile, anyways. Yeah. Um, is there any other traffic channel that you can tap on? I was looking at two things. One is Google, but oh man, most of the people, they don't use Google. That's a problem. Here. What do they use then if they're not using? Facebook, bro. Bro, Google, Facebook is our Google, man. They want, <laughs> man, you want, that's, a, that's why it's very unique, man. Like If let's say like you're having a cough and you want to know that you find a medicine, they will find on Facebook, but they won't even use Google, bro. Trust me, man. That's the truth, bro. <laughs> so, so whatever. Now, Facebook, with the Facebook ban, I think most of the people are heading to TikTok because in here they use TikTok a lot, you know, okay. all the stupid stuff. <laughs> 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 but still, like Google, TikTok is, I think, pretty. Uh, uh, it's, it's the next thing, I guess, in here. I guess, I guess. Isn't it weird that they ban Facebook and Instagram but not TikTok? No, <laughs> I mean, TikTok, TikTok is from China, bro. So, so you know, because. Because they believe that pre- one of uh, previous government yeah. with them, they, they, they believe that they pay Facebook to, you know, spread their propaganda. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And another thing is they now they say one, uh, let's say they, uh, they uh, when they arrange a, pro- a protest, they mm-hmm. arrange on Facebook. So but all the mm-hmm. news are spreading on Facebook, so just ban Facebook, bro. That's a thing. Okay. Can, so it's, it's just, more business need to adapt uh, need to go yeah. to another traffic source la, per se. it's not entirely down right yeah yeah well, yeah okay so what what happened is one thing is that okay one facebook is banned most of the people are like let's say 70 to okay 60 to 70 percent of people they know that they can use vpn to bypass mm. at the ban and yeah you know use facebook so most of the people are using using uh, okay only 30 percent is down that part okay I, i'm still fine with it. okay i'm still fine the the part i'm not fine with it is when they ban the mobile data but mm. they can ban it for so long bro because it's causing a lot of economics problem here yeah so, yeah but uh once they open like reopen it or they give back the, the the internet i think i'll be fine again yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the, the ban part is still okay because we can use the vpn to bypass it but the, yeah. the part is the internet part and that's a big issue, man. That's a big issue. Okay. Understood. At, at this point in time, right, uh, I know obviously you are under a lot of stress because there's if business is down, this like you need to pay payroll and employee stuff like that, right? How yeah. yeah. That's it. What was the question? Oh sorry, my question is how how are you structuring your team now? Okay, so, so yeah. Before that I have 21 people, including me. Okay, 21 staff. So uh eight people will be in a customer service. And around five people will be the delivery team because they have to like pack, pick and pack, pick and pack. Yeah. And Customer service, just to clarify, is the guy messenger, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, got it. 
the so customer okay what we call it we just call it customer service so what do we, yep. what they have is that okay uh let me go in detail okay it's very fun so it's around we have to work from nine to eleven so two shift mm -hmm. one team will be one shift will be like four people three will be collecting all the orders one will be manually typing orders to the shopify okay so that, so that's so so every every shift shift has four teams uh four four people Mm -hmm. So this is what so we have eight, and we have uh, five people for pick and pack, a driver, two accountants, and uh, five creatives uh, around there. So like we have around 20, 20, 20 people now. Like we have to, uh, it's not sick. How do you call it? You just stop the work for a while. Temporary, yeah. Temporary. Temporary. We're like okay, we will hire back. So we, now I have around eight to nine people working with me. Okay, understood. Why why are there two accountants? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> why is that two? Okay, okay, bro. The one thing about it is that okay, let's say if you do an online because we have two accountants, okay. Well, one thing is uh let's say like you use Shopify, right? Then the one we have a payout, man, we exactly know where we're getting the payout from. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but in here we're using sometimes we're doing we're using other uh 3pl to fulfill some of our, our orders bro let's say 200 orders you have to manually check it bro mm. man, let's say the payouts for 200 orders then they have to check it man my my chief account is like they're like she is like working for like 10 to like 8 more like 10 to 11 hours a day. i'm like she's like oh Bro, you, you gotta hire someone for me, man. She's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to. Like one is main the senior accountant and one is the junior. Yeah. Okay. Understood. And so like the customer service rep, because they are customer facing, right? Uh I'm guessing you build like a SOP or like a document saying, okay, what can you say, what can you not say? Is it how yeah. do you yeah? Oh, sorry, sure, sure. Yeah, how, how do you uh, transition from uh, a conversation of a guy's interested in the product to uh, hey, okay. do you want to buy, you want to sell? <laughs> yeah. So at first, I don't know all these SOP and anything. Yep. I, okay, I know that you have to have an SOP. I thought as long as you can talk, then you be I'll be buying it. And then, <laughs> then I found out that you know my 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 okay. So I started with five people. Okay, when there was five people, with my closing rate was pretty good. Man, it's around like sixty to seventy percent. So it's like ten message messages come in, six will be sales. So I'm like, yep. oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Then I started to scale my shop. Then I started to hire all these customer service. The first five people, they were not customer service. They were just helping me out. You know, they were doing okay. everything for me. Then after start hiring the customer service, I found out that, oh, so what's going on, man? My sales are dropped, man. Then when I started me like, uh, measuring, I found out that the closing rate dropped to around 20 to 30%, bro. Oh no, they're not doing properly. Then I started to check. Then I found out that you know they're not closing the sales properly, man. You know, they were like, uh, they're not asking for the sales. You know, they were like the people will come in and say, Oh man, how much is this? They were like, Oh, it's let's say ten dollars. That's it, man. You can't do that, man. You can say, Oh, ten dollars, where like where would you like us to send labor and all this? They have to yeah. try to close it. They don't try to they, they didn't make effort to close it. So I understand, oh like, oh, okay, I have to do something. So I have like uh, I did a presentation talking that, you know, you have to tell this, tell that. Mm. Tell. Then after that, they, they become good at it, bro. Then I I, I hire one of the a consultant who is doing the SOP and like, mm. systemization. Then she has, a, you know, she came up with the documents, bro. Okay, that's very good. Is there, uh, I mean, because it's a sales related role, right? Is there a commission when people are close or <laughs> no? I did, I like, okay, th this is the thing, bro. Okay, because my store was only six months old, yep. I plan to give. I plan like I, I was planning to give, but the thing is once before I managed to implement it, the coup happened, bro. The military took over the country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Gone. But that you okay, in my mind, like I, I know that I have to give them commission, but yeah, I, I didn't I, I didn't give it. Okay, uh, you you do it later on, obviously. Later on, later on, but because yeah, I, I was busy with other stuff, so but yeah. Understood. Understood. Uh, I guess something uh, interesting question I've never heard this before, but uh, there's if the person who is uh the driver right going there, then cash or delivery collect right. How uh is there an issue with honesty or stuff like that? You know what I mean? Man, very good question, bro. Like okay, so 
the, this is the thing, man. So, because of we're not going, going everything online, like, you yep. know, digital. So, yep. we, we have a lot, we can, we could have a lot of issues with the cash. Yep. Like, cash, but you can, people can just simply, you know, uh, scam us. Not scam, man, yeah. Okay, bro, bro, remind me to tell, tell me about scams, bro. Like, I, I have very good <laughs> okay. it's a, so, so, what happened is that, uh, yeah, we, we do, like, we didn't have, but we try to protect protect it before it happens, bro. Okay. So, that's why we have two accountants be, be because of that. Because th- these two accountants will be checking every day, bro. Every day, yeah. like, okay, they will come in and they will check, okay, well, like, how many, how many orders, like, how many items they took, or took out. Yes. Uh, office. Yep. Come back, check the money and everything. So that okay. that wasn't problem. But if I wasn't very careful, it could like other other store. Man, they have it a lot. Man, it's like a usual thing. Yeah. You know, the driver scared like taking money away and everything. But here, then I I become very good with my driver. So like he's like become like trust trust trust, 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 bro. Like just give them trust. You know, I hang out with them. You know, gives it you know, take care of them, so they they will do, bro. Fantastic. That's good. That's good. Okay. So I mean, uh, I know this is the main business, right? Uh, you sort of said, uh, you did around hundred K plus in the standard e-commerce model, uh, print on demand, right? basically. Um, uh, obviously don't have to tell me anything about that, uh, that whatever you're actually doing there. Uh, right. but, uh, why, why, why is it that, uh, in my mind, it's like, if this is a cash cow, the first one, the, the Burmese one, right? why did you, um, open another one, a separate one that is like worldwide, uh, selling to global as well? Okay. Very good question. So, I didn't have plan it at first, bro. Like, okay. I, I didn't plan to do anything like print on demand. I I always wanted to drop shit. Okay. But I, I was like, okay, this is making so much so good of Ruiz, man. But you know, yeah. yeah. Ruiz is like eight, ten every day. I'm like, I'm not even interested in working on <laughs> drop shipping, bro. Drop shipping. But some people are like, oh man, they were they were so happy that they're having four or five Ruiz. They're like, oh bro, I have having five Ruiz, man. I'm yeah, having yeah. but yeah. But the thing is that uh because of a military coup military coup it happens so my before the coup the dollar the exchange rate it's yep. around like uh like uh 1300 jet a dollar yeah now it's around 1600 a dollar okay basically so like, yeah there's, there's a big increase okay yep. so my like just like that my the money value is gone man there's yep. the one thing and because of coup People are not buying like like last time, and they're very cautious about their spending. And you know the best part is military restrict withdrawing money, bro. <laughs> you can't withdraw. You know how much we can withdraw in a week? Uh, one hundred dollars. Like around seventy dollars, bro. Okay. So, man, people don't have cash anymore, man. People yeah. Don't have cash. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, man. like okay, I, I was like, I can't rely on rely on my um, like this this uh shop anymore bro like, like i must have a backup let's say something happened like it, yeah. now if you are earning in dollar man you're good man now you you, you know yeah you, you know what i'm saying that's why i i started drop shipping bro understand right? I, I mean doing the the print on demand because of that bro understood uh, understood so i mean if, if that second business the the worldwide one your pod right mm-hmm. is generating cash and then uh you're accepting usd for example it goes into still a burmese bank account is it no. Why you? <laughs> I was you. Uh, yeah. I was really lucky, man. My mom has a Singapore account, bro. Singapore company. Singapore bank account. Huh? Okay. No Singapore bank account. Singapore company, bro. I okay. was super lucky, so I, I'm like you know leeching her account. <laughs> I was like, hey, mom, uh, mom, please help me. I, I, I can't do it. That, that's why I'm planning to, to to come back to Singapore. Just to open some accounts, bro. Like you know. Okay. To, yeah. 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 Protect lab. Like, de risk per se. Yeah. 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 That, that's that's what I'm planning. Mm. Okay. Okay. That that that's really smart. <laughs> that's really smart. No, no, I, I was okay, okay. I was really lucky, man. If my mom didn't open a, a company account there, man, I just don't know what to do anymore, bro. I'll be like stuck here. But yeah, everything will be fine, bro. Every everything will be fine. Yep. Understood. Okay. If uh, because I I know now like um, the the products that you're selling right uh, I I don't see the Burmese market becoming more competitive like I don't see it becoming like you still have a very long runway right you are like 
uh, Facebook ads in like 2008, so, <laughs> something like that, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> bro, bro. CPM is now is like less than a dollar, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm so super happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if you are the, the business owner, for example, right, you have a big customer list, right? Is right. that do you still do email marketing if that's the case, or people don't use email? Oh yeah, yeah, very good question. So, oh my god, you won't believe it. People don't hear they don't use email at all, man. So when it some even they use they have email, they they won't even go and check it, bro. Even okay. they check it, they won't even click on your ads, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so there is no such thing as email marketing here, bro. Okay. And SMS, almost the same thing, bro. Almost the same thing. So what you do is, the only one thing you can do is uh, telemarketing. But bro, telemarketing is very tiring, man. And, yeah. You know, I'm selling stuff like my AOV is only around, like, every, uh, around 20 to 30. And yeah. there's no point calling on them on, on the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then CPM is cheap, man. So I just blast all my money on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. If, if you're running Messenger, are you have a uh, you know, many chat like stuff yeah, like yeah. that Messenger, right? So you are you using that? Okay, I tried. I tried. Okay, I okay. learned everything about uh, like all, all the courses, and I learned. okay, I created a flow for like two weeks, or I I can't remember two weeks, and I started blasting. Bro, man, mm. very sad, bro. They just don't know how to use it, man. They're like, <laughs> man, imagine that you are saying, oh, but say, uh, please type yes. Yeah. Man, they don't even understand what's going on, bro. They're like, oh my God. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's the user that doesn't know. You, it's not, you, yeah. you, okay, bro, like, we, do you know that we just, we got our internet, like, okay, 10 years before this, right? We didn't even have an internet, bro. Like in 2000, we only got internet in 2010, right? Okay. Like like Wi Fi and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we only have fast Wi Fi, okay? Like before 2015, there's no such thing as fast Wi Fi, bro. Like, which means you can't <laughs> even watch the YouTube video, bro. You have to wait to watch a video, <laughs> YouTube video. So people are just still learn in a, we are still in a learning phase, which is also very good. Yeah. You know, it's a very good opportunity for us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because of that, we can't use Messenger Bot. Okay, I tried. But most of the user doesn't understand. Okay, maybe probably be, it is because of my store and my audience, I guess. Okay, most of my audience, the customers are around around 30 to 40, 40, yeah. 40 years old. So they don't yeah. know about all these things. If let's say I'm, I'm, I have a store who is self aiming to like 20 years old, I think they will understand, I guess. Understood. Understood. Are, be, are young people buying? No, not at all. For me, I'm selling ki- like kitchen stuff, bro. So rare. Okay. Around, around like most of the people are around 30 years old, bro. Okay. Understood. Understood. If now like the, the team is um let, let's say the best case scenario, right? <laughs> uh the internet thing solves, uh right, you can grow your team and stuff like that. Uh are you gonna continue expanding this? What is the uh next step for you basically? Oh. I, I know I asked something just now, but I think your your answer was more like Short term, right? So, but in the oh, long term, yeah. I said, you as the entrepreneur, like what? Yeah. In the long term, probably, probably, uh, uh, how 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 could I say it? I'm gonna diversify a little bit. I would say, yeah, you know, because I'm because I only have one store here, man. Then those are aiming around aiming at all the people around thirty to forties and who are not living in the city again, in the urban areas, bro. Now because of that. That when the internet is gone, man, my shop is gone, man. Then I was, I'm, I was thinking about going into a supplement, because you know supplement, man, bro, what, whatever happening, you still have to take supplement if you're if you're having a health problem, bro. <laughs> you, know, you know the point. So I'm thinking of having starting a, another soul very soon, but with a different audience, and you know, like try to, try to, uh, how, how, how how would I say, it? Uh, diversify, bro, because the Man, the the rest of the thing is it's very almost the same, man. You you run ads, take order, collect orders, yeah. you, you do the fulfillment, you collect cash, that's it, bro. So you just have to, you know, branch up. Man, this is a very good lesson here, man. Like, you know, 
you thought that nothing would happen, nothing bad would happen, man. Imagine Singapore suddenly banned Facebook and <laughs> internet, bro. <laughs> you can't even imagine that, bro. <laughs> man, man, we we thought that they would never do that, bro. It, they, I thought, man, they won't be this stupid, man. Like, yeah. Imagine banning, okay, banning <laughs> Facebook. I, I still can accept it, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, um, banning the apology. internet is like, oh my god, are they serious, bro? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I understand. I understand. They're, they're, so, so like, if you're listening right now, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me tell you the story. Okay, two months. Okay, around the the military took over around in in February. Around uh, December and okay, like November and December, we heard that they're gonna take over. Okay, we we already heard that, but I thought they won't do it. You know. I we we heard the news that okay the military going is going to take over the country, but we thought that nah they're not going to do that they're not going to do that it's not going to happen. Okay, so if you're listening right now, right, if you heard something bad, just prepare for it, man. Prepare cash, prepare everything, bro. Like if some if the best case scenario it didn't happen, man, it's okay, man. Mm. Man, now many people are going bankrupt, like doesn't have money to even eat or rent, bro, because did. They didn't prepare. Okay, I was lucky, man. I didn't prepare, but <laughs> I didn't prepare. Okay, but I was lucky. You, you know what happened? They took over in February. I buy a lot of things because of the Chinese New Year, bro. Because of Chinese, I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy a lot of things. Yeah, I bought it. Then I managed to sell everything out, bro. Oh my god, I was super lucky, man. But yeah, next time, man, get prepared for everything, man. Like even your country is very developed and everything. I mean, just Prepare, man. <laughs> <Get> ready, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a quote uh, for you next time. Yeah. Create a poster like prepare, man. <laughs> yeah. For advice, yeah. Prepare, man. <laughs> no, maybe I, I should have a print on demand here, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like just prepare, do it, just prepare. It's just <laughs> oh my god. But, but yeah, and then you're talking about you just now I was talking about you were talking about like people that you're not like am I not afraid of people scam like uh, taking the money and scamming me. Okay. Honesty, that, that honesty, way. honesty. Yeah, yeah. Problem. Okay, like my stuff, they don't do that because I'll, I'll, I'll become very close to them. Okay, because of people are, oh man, this, this is a very good scam. Okay, so what they do is that people, when they want something, they will message us. Sometimes you know what they did? They will comment on the, the ad, they will, like, they will leave their, their phone numbers and they say, oh, I want this, please call me. Then the scammer will act like us and say, that, "Oh, bro, like I, I'm from this shop. You know, I'm going to deliver your stuff. Uh, can you send send me the money to this account there, which is their account?" Then the the guy thought, "Oh, okay, this is us." Then they will send the money to the, the scammer, and mm-hmm. they will block us. Then the customer will be like waiting and waiting. Then will come a message our store in that, "Hey, where's my stuff?" And I was like, "What stuff, bro? Is that yeah, you oh, didn't buy from us, basically?" Uh, no, I I transfer the money. You're like, "No, no, you didn't transfer." Then. Bro, so many cases like that, man. So what we have to do is that every hour in our ads, we have to write, please don't leave any any of your numbers, okay? Yeah. And I'll, I'll tell them, oh, let's say if you if you have to transfer money, only you have to transfer to this account. Then they, I'll, I'll put my account numbers there. Uh, for for like uh, if somebody asks you to transfer to other accounts, don't please don't transfer. Like we have to. Yeah, there's a scam, man. There's a scam that's going on in the e-com business here. Yeah, understood. It's uh, how do I say this? Everywhere is tough, right? Yeah. So it's just is how you deal with the challenges. Of course. I I guess what why uh am I about you, right? Like you, you don't give a shit, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Like like you you are su- like super positive, and like I think that's awesome because it's like, hey, you, like you could be complaining, right? Dude, people ban Facebook, the entire platform. It's not even like you're ban your ad account. It's like ban your oh. entire <laughs> oh. entire country, and you're still okay. So I mean, how 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 are you uh? Uh, how are you so positive? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, what, how, what's your not secret? Oh, okay, about, okay, yeah. okay, okay, so, so. Oh, man, very, man, you, Jonathan, you know how to ask really good <laughs> questions, man. Like, like okay, I, okay, let me tell you. So, when I start, started my store, right? Okay, so I, I, before that, I was running agency. Bro, like you, man, I hated it so much, bro. I hated it with passion, bro. Let's say, the people say if you have okay, wait, work, uh, people. I don't think people understand the concept, uh, context yet. So, uh, you give them context, right? So, you're servicing 
uh, what our clients in uh, Myanmar, etc. Yeah, right. tell me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so I was giving. So before I, I started ecom, okay, like I don't even know what what this all this drop shipping. I, I know I heard about drop shipping, but I didn't know that it can make a lot of money. So I was just doing I running Facebook ads for my clients last year. <laughs> Then I have an agency, like I have around five to six clients. Okay. But one thing about uh, agency is that, you know, uh, is it called, you have to be a little bit thick skin, bro. You know, mm-hmm. the clients will be complaining every day, every day. You, you have to. But for me, when the clients complain, I get angry, bro. <laughs> so I like, for me, for me. So I'm like, ah, uh, it makes me, it makes me so much stress, man. Then, what happened is that and then I started my. Oh, by the way, what what niche was that? What uh industry, for niche. your agency? Agency. Oh, I was I was running for all the ads. I was doing for the all the gold shop and one of the biggest gold shop here. Wow. <laughs> gold shop and I was running for like uh you know Uncle Tessu Uncle Tessu the cheesecake. Uh no no idea so sorry. Okay. So it's it's from Australia so like it was Japan Australia okay. And, Ah, God, I don't remember. Okay, I was running some for furniture. Financial. A lot, a lot, basically. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. okay. So I was running for it. Then after that, I started selling online. Like, I just tested out one product. I was so bored at home, man. Like, they, they, at the time, the COVID was going on, man. Like, I can't even go out from the home. I was so bored. I was like, okay, I'm going to do AliExpress. Take a product. Then I just boost it online. Then suddenly, it makes me 1,000, like 1,000 in the first year. I'm like, oh, Oh wow, one thousand! Uh, then I started counting the money. Go okay. Let's say if I do one thousand here, thirty days will be thirty thousand. Okay, thirty thousand. Oh my god, there's a lot of money, more more money that I can make from the econ than the way from the agency. So like, oh no. Okay, then I call my my clients and I'm like, ah, oh, I quit, man. I quit. <laughs> End of this month, I'm quitting. I'm sorry, man. I'm doing something else. And like, oh, they, they they were like, oh okay. Then I started my. I started doing the, the what? E-commerce. The yeah. e-commerce. Then I started to sell. Then, remember I was telling you I only had five people? Yeah. Then at one point, I, like, I said, I'm going to start scaling. Then I hire, like, within three days, I hire, like, eight people. Like, eight people. A lot, bro. Then, you know what happened? In that week, the government imposed lockdown, bro. Like, full lockdown, right? Oh, man, I was so scared, bro. Lockdown, you say lockdown. Uh. Lockdown, lockdown. So why, why are you scared of lockdown though? Because you're selling online. Lo- the big COVID lockdown. Big, uh, you mean, you, you're asking me why am I scared? Oh, okay. You're scared of COVID, not scared of... Uh... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I'm not scared of... Okay, because... Okay, okay. So the thing, the thing is... Okay, let me tell you. At the time, the government started to impose full lockdown. Yeah. Then people are so afraid, bro. Because in here, let's say we when we deliver the stuff, we don't leave on the house, bro. We have to go and the delivery guy have to go and talk to them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, so you get the point. You get yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. Because we you, you still have to collect the cash, bro. Then yes, yes, the time, yes. We don't know how COVID COVID is. You know, we thought like we can easily get transmitted. Okay, so just hire people, just buy a lot of inventory, then full lockdown. Then my debt is around like almost like like three to four hundred k man at the time. I'm like, oh man, I'm dead man. I'm Wait, three hundred four hundred k what? Like, uh, like above, USD, USD, USD. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, no, no, two, 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 not two hundred, three hundred k. Sorry, sorry, around uh fifty, fifty to sixty k. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Make a mistake. Wow, wow. <laughs> three hundred k. I, I, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so, bro, I was so scared, man. I, you know, first thing came into my mind, I was like, bro, I'm dead, man. I mean, I, I shouldn't have done it on that. <laughs> yeah. Because from what I thought, right, is that yeah. people are going to stop buying. Imagine people yeah. won't even allow the delivery guy who came into their house yeah. to even sign it. I thought I'm dead. Bro, I learned something, man. No matter what's happening in the world, people still going to buy. Okay, <laughs> Trust me, man. Trust me. Like, I thought nobody's going to buy, bro. Oh, my God. That... Everyone in the whole country, they stopped running ads because they thought nobody's going to buy. Yeah. That probably I was the only one who is running the ads in the country, bro. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the CPM is so low and everyone's at home doing nothing. They were like, 
people are still buying a lot, bro. I'm like, holy shit, man. Yeah, the, yeah. I was like, the, I, you know what I did? I brought back all my, I called all my team and say, all right, we're going to live together in the house <laughs> and we're going to deliver the things. So, yeah. you know, all the 21, like I was saying, at that time I have like 15 people, 15 people living together and delivering things, you know. So my, yeah. everyone is, li- is living with me. So like, I give them food, I give them shelter, and they started selling, bro. Then I found out that, okay, so whatever happened, people are going to buy. So I started selling. Then probably I was the only one doing a lot of money during COVID, you know. Every, mm-hmm. every business was suffering. You were basically number one in, in Myanmar, basically. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So, bro, I'm not sure. uh, like e-com, when it comes to e-com, but maybe I'll, I'll be a top five, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was making money. Then... Yeah, I was pretty. Then I knew that okay, I can stick it. For me, it's bro. As long as I'm making money, I'm happy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. So then after that, that the coup happened, people thought nobody's gonna buy. But bro, yeah. just buying, man. So so the the question is that is the question you like, how how do I stay positive, right? So one thing is, uh, you know, uh, uh, NLP. Yeah. Tony. Yeah, uh, neuro linguistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I am a mug. Like I went to the NLP courses bro so I have like I, I'm like I have, I'm a certified NLP master coach they say <laughs> so, so like I know how to then another one thing is that I have a, a coach yeah. a life coach okay like, I'm paying around 1000 a month just to coach me okay so, so he like something whenever I'm depressed I'll go and talk to him so yeah that, so another thing is bro another thing is like let's say something bad is happening in your country okay this is my advice man delete your Facebook don't ever read news on Facebook. Mm. It will like demoralize. Like, how do you call it? It will demoralize, you, yeah, yeah, demoralize yeah. and make you depressed, bro. So, yeah. as your aim is not to listen to news, man. Your aim is just to make money, bro. <laughs> trust me, trust me, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever happening, you just have to stay, keep on making money. Like you can see that, oh man, some of them are like not making money. Yeah, I understand, man. I I feel their pain, but you still have to make money and donate yeah. back to them. You know, yeah, give yeah. back to them. So if you, let's say, now most of the people, what they're doing, they're reading the news, they get depressed, then they stop working. Bro, you can't do that. Man. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, that's the thing. So how do I stay positive? Man, by making a lot of money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, man. Like, yeah, as yeah, long yeah. as I know that I'm making around 1,000 in, like, like for me, it's minimum is, okay, let's say I make one, around 500 to 1,000 in a day, I'm happy, bro. That, that's a, the standard that I set during this time, during this time. Last time was mm-hmm. a little bit higher, of course. Understood. You're like not many people have the same man, man uh attitude as you. Right. Like uh I don't know, your your childhood very rough. Like what's the how <laughs> how, how did you develop this? You know what I mean? Oh my god, bro, you really knows how to <laughs> question it, man. Okay, okay. So I guess I have a very good story on this. Okay. So what happened was when before this thing happened, right? Uh, I, I studied in Australia, you know. I, then my mom keep like... Uh, I thought you studied in Singapore. Singapore and Australia. So okay. I studied in Singapore for five years, like uh, from secondary to diploma. Then okay. in degree, I went to Singapore, <clears throat> to Australia. So in Australia, my mom, you know, we didn't take any loans. My mom yep. gave me cash to study in Australia. Yeah. So it's around like 40, like, uh, I can't remember, man. She spent around, I think 200K on just for my degree, bro. I'm like, what a waste, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, and during the time, right, man, I thought I was rich, man. Like, serious. I thought our families were rich. My, didn't, my mom didn't tell me anything. Yeah. She gave me cash just simply, you know. I said, oh, mom, I'm low on cash. Then whenever I say I know on cash, she just gave me 10,000, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I thought I'm rich, man. I'm spending money like this. No tomorrow, every every day, bro. Yeah. And after you pay your own money. No, no, no. After that, I went back. Then... My family has a construction business, bro. And there is there, there was a policy change that we almost bankrupt, man. We almost okay. Bankrupt. Okay. Then our the time during the time with the dollar rate, we was almost like in debt for like a million, bro, one million dollar. Mm. Oh, bro, that and this was what this is like 2015? How long ago? Uh, yeah, 16, around 16. Okay. Oh bro, okay. that, that was like oh man. Let me tell you, man, nothing worse than having so much debt, man. Like, so much debt that you know that you can't pay back, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. like let's say if you are, some people, like, they are in debt, but they know that they can, you know, they're doing some business. That's why. Yeah, it's pay. fine. Yeah. 
for me, we're in debt because, oh man, I, every day I'll be like, I don't know what to do. Man, that's a pain. That's a pain. I was so scared of the pain that I have to work really hard, bro. So, like, then the, the, the thing is that debt is not even created by me. It's not even at my fault, man. Yeah. But because of my family, I work hard. Then, they, oh, okay. Because of that, I was like, okay, I have to sell my, my, my condos because we, we don't have constructions okay so mm. that we have units to sell i was like okay i have to sell units i, I don't know how to sell and instead i started learning on, on google mm. then i found out about copywriting yeah. and and digital marketing uh, then you know when i see the word copywriting i thought it's about literally copying <laughs> what is written you know i don't i didn't understand that it. it's about uh the copywriting is about like creating you know copy copywriting i thought yeah. it's just copying from the other <laughs> how is that stupid bro trust me man trust me <laughs> uh, to be fair english is not your first language so it's yeah, very yeah. fair yeah 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 man, i don't even know what a copy is bro and then from that i tried i started to learn copywriting and then we started to sell a few units and then now i we have paid by all the debt now we're happy bro that's the thing congrats yeah thanks bro thanks mm. that's why that's why we, that's why i work one of the reasons I work hard is that yeah, so afraid of the pain, man, the debt, bro. Man, it's just mm. too scary, bro. I I I just tell you this, uh, like I work with a lot of founders, right? A bit on like coaching or even like uh agencies, right? It's like the people who are successful, if they have uh is a common trait that I see across people. It's like uh if you give you a challenge and a task, and usually there is a usually uh there's like a life changing event happen before and then you have an internal change in your mindset ability and trust in yourself then you go and like take a chance and bet on yourself yeah. then you make it happen and then those are the people who are normally successful True. that's normally the case and for your that one bankruptcy is like super extreme we didn't we didn't go bankrupt but we oh, it's almost, close almost very close. close very close and another one thing is oh wait trust me another one thing do you really want to be successful like if let's say you want to be very like you have a very good push very like pressure. You know what you should do? Get a girlfriend who is super like richer than you, man. Oh my god, that was like, I don't know, is the best thing or the worst thing happened to me, man. So okay, I fall in love with one a girl here. I didn't know that she's rich at all. Like okay, so I, was, I thought she was a normal girl. Man, after like dating for like six months, I just found out, holy shit, man. She's she's just super rich man you know because of that of the, you know her family side doesn't like me you're like oh man you why are you getting like you know why are you dating a guy poor then <laughs> yeah yeah okay i don't want to do prove them so wrong you know every day bro every day like i have like a vision board then i wrote down some of the names that who took down you know just <laughs> to say yeah i'm coming to you man I'm coming to you. bro yeah, trust yeah, yeah, me yeah. It, okay very it was very unhealthy very toxic but yeah. it works bro yeah, because it, it motivates you, right? It's like, there's, you don't need to motivate yourself. It's like, it's already here, you know? I get it. I get it. I know, I know. Like, probably, that's why, you know, sometimes you have to create some of the fake scenario just to be, you know, motivate you, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's sorry, that's like Kobe Bryant. It, it, have you it, watched basketball? It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, they always did that. They always have to create a fake scenario. You know? Yeah, yeah. Just to, be, just to motivate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, yeah, that, that's what very really successful people do. Yeah. So, dude, you <laughs> at least got something right here. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I, I want to ask you just one more thing about your team, lah. Right. Sure, sure. So we talk a lot about your logistics already. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about the marketing team? Because different language, different country, right? A lot of people are very used to U.S. market. Uh, yeah. how how is that different? Like, is the copywriter slash, um, uh, mm-hmm. media buyer? You know, the person running the ads, blah blah blah. How is that different for you? Uh, I think probably the copywriting, the create marketing part is the easiest part, bro. To be yeah. honest, because the first thing is that you know, like people here, they're just copying straight from Ali, Alibaba, AliExpress. They just copy paste it. <laughs> then they just sell. They don't even do any design, bro. Like they don't, they don't even care. They just do it. Then there's some of the even ads are even in Chinese, man. People stay mad. <laughs> Trust me, man. They, they don't understand in, in Chinese. They say by which means it's a, it's a very, very good opportunity for me. So okay, the copywriting. Okay, let I'll, I'll, I'll separate in two parts. Copywriting first. Okay, copywriting parts, right? Because of we don't. Okay, usually, usually, okay, it's the ads, 
and a, and a copy, a long copy in the website, right? You know, the, the Facebook ads will be here. Then you click it, you go to the website, it will be long copy. For us, it's different. Every, all the thing will be on here. So our copy, the Facebook ads copy will be longer because everything will have to be there. Mm. Because we don't, we, don't, we don't use website. That's the one thing. Mm. And another thing is that, man, most of the people, like very lucky, still lucky for me. Right? It, it's like what you say, man. It's like me is like drop shipping in 2008, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shipping because of that uh, people here most of the people doesn't know about copywriting right? they don't even know that there's such thing as co- copywriting bro mm. so so what for us it's very lucky we, I know how to but use every it. language has copy right, right? Every, yeah, yeah. Every, Chinese yeah it doesn't matter yeah yeah, yeah. but we, most of our people doesn't know bro like trust me they don't know they don't know they, let's say there's a copywriter copywriter here I have to train them for like a week, like literally teach them. Like, mm-hmm. okay, this is the thing, this is the thing. Because of that, uh, we like probably our co- because of our copy, we are crushing it here, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. And another thing, how oh, about the d- design? Design team. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, what's the difference? I guess you're running ads, right? Are you running ads, or someone yeah. else is already taking over? I mean, I mean. Okay, okay, yes. you mean, do I run ads by myself or I ask other people to run ads? Yeah, because if you have a very big team, I'm guessing that um, someone no. is taking over. No, you're still running. No, 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 I mean, yes, yes, someone is taking over. So, so I, I'm, not, I'm not running ads by myself anymore. So I taught the guy how to run ads. They, they just do that. They just run ads every day. Mm. So yeah, the, the design part is almost very similar, bro. It's just that we don't need to do the funnel, you know, website funnel. We just have to do the one good messenger. <laughs> Yeah. messenger so we create like one product we create three angles in standard lab like yeah 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 one angle and just do the thing bro. then we just try to scale it That's okay it. yeah yeah okay yeah uh i think uh it's i've taken a lot of your time already <laughs> uh, <laughs> is there any last words you want to say to the audience because i know they've got a lot of value from you like, like can learn a lot of stuff from this conversation like, uh, I, I have so yeah Thanks, thanks, bro. Like, okay, from you can learn like how to run ads, like what applic- like what apps to use on Shopify, you know, all these things on YouTube, you know. But uh, if you have to learn one thing from me, my one thing is that whatever happening, whatever could stay going on, you just have to sell, bro. Don't care about other people, just sell. Make money for yourself first. That's the one thing, bro. Because without without the cash flow, you're gonna have a lot of problem. You will be more depressed to handle other things, bro. If you have cash flow, at least you will feel you know you can handle other. You have more energy to handle other stuff. That's one thing. Another thing is that, man, things the worst thing can happen to you in in a few days, man. Even in split second, bro. You just have to get ready for everything, man. That's the thing. That's the, like. And another thing is that, uh, like, so whatever like ha- happens, right? So, so I this is what I like. From now we I do this exercise every like every once in a while. I will write down all the worst thing ca- that can happen in the country, like that can affect my business. Let's say this is this, this and that. Then I will have what to do if something happened. So like at least you happen you're like oh, okay I'm I'm ready for it yeah you know what I'm saying that's the one thing you have to do. Another thing is, and be positive, man. <laughs> Not COVID, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever happens, man, there's opportunity, bro. If like, how do? You... If you can do it, anybody can. Ah uh, no no no! It's more like <laughs> the harder it is, the lesser people doing. You know, the okay. lesser people are working on it. Okay. The harder it is, it's okay. The harder it is, uh, the greater the return, like the the, the mm. uh, how do you call it? Yeah, the reward the re- reward is bro. So don't give up, man. You know, just work on it. You know, you you will you will be fine. You know, there's one thing is it, it just in your mind, bro. In your mind, just be happy about it. Okay, just be grateful, grateful. Yeah. And it, okay, Ken, thank you so much, V. Um, so guys, uh, the video will end here. I'd like to thank uh, Z for his time. Um, yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay.